Who are we? We are Schooner and Hop. <gasps> well, I'm actually really excited for this one. It's a young Henry's beer. Uh, we haven't really had many on the show, but I've, no. we've tried pretty much all of them. But I have not tried this. This sure. is the Motorcycle Oil. It's a dark, hoppy porter. Yep. Uh, this can's a little bit different. It's one of a kind. It's been Stellan affected. <laughs> uh, I grabbed it out of the fridge before I reviewed it. I looked him off and said, Chris, what happened to this can? And she goes, Stellan? It's like, man, all right. So the little fellas just that explains. It. So it could be an interesting open, but I've, I'm doing the old tap on the top trick to stop that. I think we should be fine. Science proves it. Yeah, look, um, it was in the door, and last night I found it, or yesterday after I finished work, I found it up on the top shelf. 5.5% hoppy mm. porter. So it's packing a bit of a punch. It was initially brewed as a one off, but it was a hit. So it's back every winter. Yeah, well actually, the only reason I picked this up, uh, I've got a mate in Brisbane who has a few craft beers, but he's got a pub or a venue beneath uh, his apartment and they had the motorcycle oil on tap and the only reason he got it is because he's a redhead. <laughs> and I have no doubt that's why they're selling it. I said, oh, did you notice a lot of their tap badges that look like amps? And he goes, no, that's not something I would notice. People see what they want to see. They're a redhead musician brewery, essentially. It smells hoppy, mm. but you know, you some, you'll have like a, a black IPA, but it still kind of smells like a stout. Although once now it's poured, caramel malts and Ooh. like fruity Ooh. hops. Ooh. The Belgian dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just like on the nose, that caramel mm. malt and fruity hop aroma is just, the caramel malt is definitely it's the overwhelming. A, it's an interesting mix. It smells good though. Mm. How does it taste? Let's give it a try. Uh, it's certainly smooth. It's not as flavoursome as it smells. Yeah. But god damn, that is smooth. It really kind of just, it smells all uh, caramelly and hoppy, but it really just kind of tastes like a nice, easy going porter. I'm trying to pick something in it. You're obviously getting, the, like, you're getting that burnt aftertaste yeah. um, that you would expect from a porter, but I don't really know what's before it. It's really easy to drink. It is. I can see why it is popular, because yeah. it looks interesting. For, for a you dark, kind of, yeah. You see a dark beer, you think, oh, this is going to be hard to drink. Mm. But you sip it, and it's really easy. That's I obviously going to turn heads. It's closer to a, um, to maybe an amber in the... Intensity. In, in the body and the, um, yeah, yeah. And, and what you're getting out of it. Just, just because, like, your ambers, you'll find are more syrupy and easy to drink. And they kind of wash down with, like, this is such a wanky description right now. They wash down like it's, like, silky. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a very smooth taste, and that's what I'm getting from this. Yeah. Um, it's it's yeah. kind of mouthfeel it's nowhere and near as, flavor. Yeah, it's nowhere near as thick and heavy as what I've, what I've come Ex to expect of porters and things. Um, and especially when it says like that it's a hoppy one, I was expecting a much more dirty finish. Yeah, actually, I was expecting some like uh, grass notes in Ooh. there, but really, all the hoppiness comes from the nose, which I actually quite enjoy. And that's maybe not a bad thing because it could have been too much mm. at the end, especially with the entrance that it has. Like, if it was to finish really dirty. And then with the burnt notes as well. Yeah, would it be with, too With no much? lead up to it, you'd probably be like, oh, okay. That's, but no, be really, it's just a really good balanced uh, light going porter. Yeah. That smells like it's fucking jacked full of hops. And, and the, I mean, um, it would be, but you know, caramel malts and yeah, yeah. roast malts are so, such an overpowering flavor. Yeah. Um, that it's hard to notice it. For the percentage? For the percentage. For how heavy it is, you don't. It does not you, you, taste. You don't think it's that heavy. The booze is very well hidden. Yeah. Which I guess is another reason why my mate would like it. <laughs> really strong beer that you can't tell is really strong. Yeah. Just, that, because. I feel like it, that's because everyone that, like, that enjoys craft beer. You wouldn't get over it then. 
No. Like a lot of the, like a heavier beer, you'd get over the alcohol mm. flavor in there. And you'd be like, okay, I need something lighter now. Whereas since this is so light bodied and smooth, you don't notice what you're drinking and yeah. you'll have six of them and go, all right then. That, uh, that was kind of the case of beer and cider for me. Mm. You smash yeah. a whole heap of IPAs and sour beers and you're like, huh, why have I stopped being able to tell what beers taste like? Why, is, why am I, my cheeks tingling? The next thing you know, yeah. it's 10 o'clock, the festival's over yeah. and you're in an Uber home. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but boy, did you get some fun? Wait? Did you have beers waiting for you at your mate's place afterwards? We did not need any more beers. Yeah. Yeah. I, we did not. That's but fair. we did listen to uh, all of our favourite metal songs oh, from high school yeah. until two in the morning. Yeah. Just like slamming through Dragon yeah. Force, uh, Iron oh, Maiden. Oh my god, yeah. Dragon Force. Yeah. <laughs> I respect the I Iron Maiden loved, choice, that's I okay. I loved that shit. Oh god. It was so bad. Through Fire and Flames? That, 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 was, yeah. that was the... That was like the song that everyone knew. Oh. And but everyone had to, I refused to learn that on guitar. Well, that, like, like initial things, even a, pi it's a piano part as well. Yeah, but then well, everyone was like, oh, this is great. Like, it's, right. it's really hard on guitar here, but it's not that hard yeah. with a guitar And I was bit. just like, I, I refuse. I'm just going to stick to power chords and it's just some bluesy solos. Yeah. I I'm not touching Dragon nah, Force. I loved that shit because the two guys, they were just, they could just do so much. Yeah. It's like, Here's four bars. How many notes can we yeah, like, exactly. actually play in How it? How quick can we it's, go right now? It's the wankier stuff, but I mm. love yeah. that as well. It's Even basically it's just watch shit. me, yeah, wank my guitar. Cause I just, just watch me go up and down the fretboard like this for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, that was a nice segue. Uh, Dragon, any Dragon Force lovers out there? <laughs> oh, it was so good. Oh, and Avenge Sevenfold. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. I, yeah. I only got... I can't say I really got into them ever. The only reason I ever listened to any of their stuff was when Slash did his compilation album, the first one. That, yeah, it was he just titled Slash. With... Uh, yeah, what the hell was it called? I've got the damn song playing in my head. Nothing to say. It's brilliant. That's a really cool song. Um, what, do you get like the guitarist from that in it? Or was it like no, no, collab with the inside band? Slash. Yeah. And singers. So you just oh, had the singer from a bit of do it, do it with him and then they... Yeah, he's like the most boring member of the band. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, when you've got Slash on the album, you don't need any other, anyone else that's interesting. He did a song with Kid Rock as well. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Music. Isn't it funny that we segue... I just mentioned that this goes... is like a rev head musician... Brew. And with did segue music. Is it in your brew that you just have to, like, depending on what you're into, you're either going to segue into chatting about cars and motorbikes or you're going to talk about music. I blame you, Young Henrys, for this. Um, for just being so music damn chat. relatable. Yep. Um, overall, this is a very sessionable porter. Yeah. Um, I could imagine actually grabbing a four pack and finishing it all and not getting sick of it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be done after a four pack, not only for the alcohol percentage, but just I think I'd be done with the flavours by then. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd buy it again. I'd um, definitely buy it again. Porters aren't my first choice of style to get, so granted, if I was going for a porter, maybe, actually no, if I was going for a porter, this probably wouldn't be what I'd pick. If I was going for a porter, I'd pick something that was more along the lines of what I thought a porter was. I'd pick this... If you were surprised by it. No, you know what, I just, I've got a mate that likes it, so I'll, I'll be buying it to drink it with him and I'll enjoy it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I, would, I would recommend you go out and get it. And I reckon, like, even though they kind of, re I believe they only really bring it back for winter, I could yeah. imagine drinking it like now. Yeah. And it being fine. Just still enjoyable. You probably wouldn't have as many when it's really hot. No, I, you, you look... Because you, you really, you want that light maybe flavor. you need sours. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to this beer. It's really nice. You go out and buy it. Young Henry's are actually a uh, pretty good brewery. They do cool things when they introduce yeah. their beers to venues. The rep came and spoke with me a few months ago now. Haven't had the chance to get their beer on tap yet. Um, but when I do... Throw some new towner on. Yeah, it's 100% going to be new towner. That shit is, it's mint. Um, Especially now that it's warm. Oh yeah, but they're going to come down to the venue and do a sausage chisel. Oh really? 
Yeah, this, uh, that's what I said. Sausage chisel, free canteen one that comes through the bottle shop. Doesn't matter what they're buying. And then they're going to come up to the bar and do a bar tab. Amazing. And just oh, definitely have our beers. Working that day. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like, oh my gosh, do I finish now? <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, bar tab time. Uh, anyway, we're Schooner and Hop. Mm. We're big supporters of Young Henry's. They're delicious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's not a beer that I haven't enjoyed. If you're in Sydney, I'm super jealous. Go to their venue, you bastard. Yeah. But then also you can get it on tap nearly everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, they are all through Brisbane. It's so like good. Like they're everywhere. They're, they're really, one of the really quality independent brewers. Uh, so yeah, Young Henry's, we love you. Cheers. You, you might be my Black Ops. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>